Hello, so this is the Rainbow Whip. Um, it's a fully self-sustaining vehicle. I imagine this could be someone's home, weekend, dream machine, or festival vehicle. It's got a queen size bed, it sleeps two people. It's uh, super small, it's only 22 feet in length, so it fits in a normal parking space, but it has literally everything. So I will just go through, um, start with the engine and the, the bus itself, because it's a really great bus. Uh, and then I'll take you on a tour through the whole thing and at the very end um, show you guys how it sounds on the highway. It's 2002 Chevy Express 3500 gas engine, 5.7 liter V8. Uh, this is what I did to the bus to essentially bulletproof it. It's got new intake manifold gaskets, valve cover gaskets, fuel injectors, thermostat, new all-terrain tires, new fuel pump, new front AC system with a one-year warranty at a shop in um, Florida. It's registered as a motorhome in Florida and insured through State Farm. So I bought the bus in October 2020 in Southern California. I spent just under a year designing and building and just under a year enjoying it. And it's now time for me to go on to the next adventure. But I partnered with two companies for the build. Um, it's RecPro and Dakota Lithium, both incredible companies. And I also drew a comic in exchange for the airhead composting toilet which is another really fantastic company so the bus has no rust it's a, an aluminum body and i did a 16 inch roof raise so it has seven feet of interior height inside i'm a full-time artist and for me the bus is functional art all right welcome to my bus um i built it out with the intention that it would be a mural mobile so i've driven all across the country. I put 30,000 miles on it. I bought it with 55,000 miles on it. So we've been some places. Four cross-country trips, um, did a lot of murals, went to a lot of national parks, did a lot of hiking, and it's just been fantastic, especially the last couple months. It's been amazing, incredible. So welcome. Come on in. I'll show you. Do you want this experience too? Do you want to have it? Do you want to take the festivals? Do you want to go hiking in it? You can do all those things. So I will say I just did another cross country trip in this. So this is the lived in bus. This is what is going on every day. <laughs> so let's start with the front of the bus. Um, so that runs CarPlay, which is really great. So it's hands-free. Um, also there's a backup camera there. Sony speakers, two in the front, two in the back. Such a great sound system. And uh, driving the bus honestly feels like you're driving a truck. It's super easy to drive. Got some really cool mosaic and copper. I got some room for storage there. I got my laundry, I got my roller skates, shoes. Um, that is for, no, you're, you're perfect. That is for um, this Laguna table mount and I'll do that real quick. This guy goes in like so. Then I, yeah, so I got my penny table. Very cool, Japanese yen, Mexican peso. That just pops on and it spins many different directions, um, which is cool. And this is also, the passenger seat is also on a captain swivel. So someone can sit here and someone can sit here and they can have some, some tea, some breakfast, and it goes up and down as well. And the passenger seat is also bolted through the floor of the bus, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, and there's a 110 outlet right next to that passenger seat, so it's a good place to do work as well. And I just store it right behind that passenger seat. Um, it came with another mount, which can be mounted on the outside of the bus to put the table out there as well. Okay, we'll go to the kitchen area. Um, there's a lot of goofy lights. And these are for storage coffee beans or rice. Um, awesome tea shelf place for food and containers propane stove three burner propane stove it's really awesome that's also from rec pro love them truly it's the coolest thing ever to be in the middle of nowhere and make pancakes or make a pizza yeah pretty awesome um, more storage here put my instapot in there uh, the way this works is just clasps, unclasp, open, bunch of snacks. Um, so that doesn't swing open while you're driving. And it looks really cute. 
Um, here's the sink area. We have two switches. The top one is for the water pump. So that turns it on. Um, and the bottom one is for the water heater, which is right there. And that's also propane. And here is the inverter switch. And there's another 110 outlet by the counter as well for the blender, for hot water kettle, anything like that. So that's the whole kitchen. And I forgot to show you guys that the sink has two modes. Um, you just twist it for the other one. And it also snakes out. And I didn't do it in the video, but it also can snake out of there. And the left side is for filtered water. Um, it's a three-step filtration process by Ice Ring. It's underneath the cabinet. And I also use it for even more storage. <laughs> when you're cooking, I'm cooking, I'm prepping. I have room here too for prep. Um, and also, the fridge pulls out and it's also um, the same height as the countertop so you can have even more prep space. So even though the space is small, there's plenty of room for cooking which I really, really like. And this fridge pulls out all the way, and it's a fridge freezer. Fridge freezer. And it's the Iceco 63.4 um, quart fridge and freezer, but you can use both for fridge if you want. It's so, there's so much room in there. And then these yellow tabs, when it goes in, you push down. So moving to the other side, um, where my dog is sitting, I built a cover, like a lid, for the bathroom and that is his favorite spot because if I ride around with the window open he loves to stick his head outside so this is a seat as well as the bathroom and shower so the eye hooks there and there's the airhead composting toilet excuse the shower bag um, there's only one um, faucet to turn on the water for the shower and that's because the water heater you can choose the exact temperature so you don't waste time figuring out the ratio of hot and cold lines and the curtain just goes all the way around it's the perfect length um, I put polyurethane behind that fake grass and on the other wall but didn't actually need it because the shower curtain just does a just works perfect and there you have it that's what that looks like pretty cool So the remote for the AC is mounted right there. Um, it can run all day and night on eco mode, which is pretty, pretty cool. This is an old locker cut in half and clothing storage, um, books. So getting into the bed, there's a fold out step there. So just pop that down and you're able to hop up there. And getting out of the bed, you can either hop on that step or if you're shorter, maybe hopping there first awesome and here's the view from sitting in the bed and i have a remote for those for the led tape lighting so you can change the colors to anything which is pretty neat So I'm super tall, and I still have some inches for sitting up. Um, here's storage. This pushes down and latches there. Uh, and I want to say I cut out that piece of plywood, put foam batting, and upholstered that fabric on there. And I used um, Velcro to take it off. So you can take it off and reupholster it with the fabric of your choice later on, if you're not vibing with that. And here's the manual remote for the... LED tape lighting. So if you're in bed, you don't have to use the remote. <laughs> There's a mirror right there, more storage, um, phone charger, another 110 outlet. Yeah. And this is also wallpaper that can be peeled off and another wallpaper could be put on potentially. Um, when I first built the bus, I put a medicine cabinet on that wall. So that's an option if you need a bigger mirror, but I don't. And it's a nice place to hang artwork too. Yeah, so I also have this mirror here and I really like it because I can see what's going on back there. Check on my dog. Um, 
and use this mirror. So I got one back there, one here, and possible one there um, that was living there, but I didn't necessarily need it, so. And there's also a little reading light right there in the bed. And we got the Max air fan, of course, that um, blows in, sucks air out, 10 speeds. It's really great for cooking. And the remote for the Max air fan is mounted right there, so um, easy access when you first come into the bus. Let's go outside the bus, in the back. This is a cheap spare tire carrier welded on this back bumper. Um, to open it, you lift up and swing open. And then this can hold two bikes. Two bikes. Here's the lock. This goes up. Opens up here. Here's the back storage. There's the fresh water tank. 45 gallons underneath here. Welded to the bottom is the gray water tank. Also 45 gallons. To fill this up, fill up the tank, just take out this little red cap, put the hose in, fill her up. Um, so I just want to show you how to fill the water tank. Um, you can hook up to a friend's house or at a campground, and it goes right in the tank. And here is your city water hookup. So the hose just goes right into that inlet, right there. <laughs> and that's the water heater. Um, when you're hooked up to city water, with that inlet on the right hand side, this goes down lever and now it's for steady water. If you want to dump the fresh water tank for any reason, um, uh, you screw off this cap and open this valve and water will come out if you need to clean out the tank or something like that. Okay, so I'll show you all the storage back here. Look. Yeah, here. This guy. Ah! Your power cable. Yes, for power. For power. When you're, when you're at a campsite or something like that, and you want to use shore power. This is the shore power inlet. That opens up. This goes on here. You twist that. And this plugs in. And here's a surge protector. So there's three ways the bus can charge. Um, through the alternator while you're driving, it's charging. Um, through solar and between driving and solar phew, you, that's unlimited energy right there um, but if you're at a campground might as well um, plug in so this has room for six totes and some other storage in front of it this is the water heater and here's the battery system so on the left of this is the 12 volt and 110 breaker box we've got the solar switch at the top the blue one um, we've got the major on and off switch, that red one right there. Um, wired in series with the Dakota lithium batteries, which are incredible, incredible. Um, got a Renergy charge controller and a 2000 watt inverter, which means you can only use 2000 watts of power at any given time. So we can't run AC and blender at the same time. It's one or the other. This is the back of the fridge. Um, when you're plugged into shore power, it automatically switches over to that which is really, really cool. Um, so this is an awesome app um, made by Victron. There's a smart shunt attached to the batteries that shows everything you need to know so you can monitor them. So right now I'm only using, no, I'm actually gaining power because the, the sun is coming in. And after running the AC all morning, not on eco mode, the battery is 81%, but it's charging. Yeah, so there's the mini split, a big Craftsman toolbox up there for folding chairs, whatever. And there's the propane tank. I have not had to switch it out in like eight months, so lasts a while. Another toolbox right there. Um, and that's the vent for the composting toilet. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking, I didn't talk so much about the composting toilet, but it's amazing. You have to dump the pee tank every few days, which is easy, and the solids tank once or twice a month, depending how many people you have in here. Um, and it doesn't smell. And you can either use peat moss or cocoa husk. I just want to show you guys um, what this sounds like going about 65 miles an hour on the highway. It's super quiet. Um, it's kind of shockingly quiet. Yeah, so this is a uh, bus life. 
in this bus, which is like driving a truck. Um, yeah, it's great. Quiet. <laughs> oh, I also want to say, I also want to say that the bus is on right now. Um, and that's what it sounds like. Which is nothing. Um, so maybe I'll drive it for a second and you can hear how it is. Do a drive around the parking lot. Can hear how it is. You can hear that it sounds so quiet. Turns so good. This is what it sounds like. Nothing. It's crazy. Oops, I should exit this way. All right, cool. And the bus gets about 12 and a half miles per gallon on the highway, but ranges 11 to 13. So yeah, thank you so much. I have footage and photos of the build of the roof raise. If you're interested and you want that, um, reach out to me. It's all built right and square. It's heavily insulated on the floor as well. Um, yeah. And thank you, thank you for watching. Um, I'm moving into a place in Santa Cruz. So me and the bus will be in Santa Cruz for the month, month of June. So come on out, come see it. Yeah, it's been incredible. And this is gonna sound woo-woo, but the bus has good energy. It doesn't break down on me. It's just, it's so great. It's uh, facilitated a lot of really incredible experiences. And I know whoever has it next will have those magical experiences and, and then some. <laughs>